Kickstarter has such wonderful potential from a content creation standpoint. I quite enjoy searching the listings looking for something worthwhile and often find bizarre yet awesome items that I had no idea could ever exist. And with such generosity from the community, we've seen enormous numbers raised, some projects raising millions of dollars. I had talked about all this wonderful stuff in a previous feature creep, and I posed a question about how long it would take until big business got the crowdsource bug. Well, as it turns out, that has happened, but unfortunately it's not exactly been on the up and up. Fergus Urquhart is the CEO of Obsidian Entertainment. Most recently, if you follow Kickstarter, you will have seen Project Eternity, a revitalization of the isometric RPG genre in the style of Baldur's Gate and Icewind Dale. Prior to their Kickstarter going live, Fergus was approached by multiple publishers to run a Kickstarter for various projects of theirs, but using the Obsidian Entertainment name, only it would be the publisher who owned the intellectual property and controlled the sales. He asked them, and I quote, So you want us to do a Kickstarter for you, using our name, when we get the Kickstarter money to make the game, you then publish the game, but we don't get to keep the brand we make, and we only get a portion of the profits? To which they replied, yes. Now, before I go any further, it's prudent to mention that, though I have no direct quote of Fergus saying no, the incredulous way he posed that question indicates how strongly opposed to this kind of thing Obsidian Entertainment actually is. So try to go through this logic with me. A publisher is a company that manages distribution channels, funds projects, and handles the marketing issues as well as legal concerns when it comes to licensing of video games. So a company normally responsible for acting as the front money for a project, much like record labels in the music industry, is asking to be liberated from the most substantial source of risk, which is why they make the most money. This is one of the most underhanded business moves that I've ever heard of in the game industry. It is an intentional, blatant abuse of the existing system inherent within Kickstarter and takes advantage of the good customer will, all the while hiding the true motives. You see, in regulated areas of business, this kind of sly move is called fraud. I know that I, and most likely the internet at large, would dearly like to know which publishers attempted to do such a foolish thing, for it is worthy of punishment. That's all I have to say. Tarmac out. <laughs>